I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I have sat and watched all these school shooting, shootings going all the way back to Columbine in the 1990s, and they have just progressed over the years and gotten worse and more vicious over the years, these school shootings. Now, these school shootings are a new phenomenon. Let me tell you what I mean by that. It, it is a new experience. It, it, is a, it is a new Rubicon, if you will. Uh, people have always robbed banks. You know, Jesse James was great at doing it way back in the 19th century, or even maybe the 18th century. People have robbed banks, and people rob banks today, except a little bit differently now. But the fact that a young boy would go into a school and shoot up a school and kill innocent school children and teachers is a new phenomenon that's less than a generation old. That kind of thing never happened. That kind of thing never happened. They've always been drunks. They tell me that prostitution is the oldest profession on the planet. They've always been prostitutes, but there's not always been school shooting. This thing about school shootings is uh, less than a generation old. It's a new phenomenon. But can I tell you why it is happening? It's happening because we are in the tribulation. Now listen to me very carefully. I don't want to get the algorithm people and all them other people, you know, who won't give me a strike or take me down off of YouTube and Facebook because they said I'm just dis dissemination, disseminating misinformation or whatever it is that they say that, I, that others do. I don't do that, but they say others do it. And that is this, is that because the adults, people in high and powerful, both legal, spiritual, economic places have become so corrupt, so evil, so rotten. The outgrowth of that is Children are now killing each other because the world has gone crazy. See, if they were not so corrupt in politics, and they are rotten, and you know that they are, there were no all these billionaires and banksters and gangsters and Wall Street type. They are corrupt, greedy. They already got a hundred foot yacht. Now they want a hundred twenty foot yacht costing a half a billion dollars and they want to charge more prices. They want to charge higher prices for mac and cheese so they can get a bigger yacht. Corrupt. Don't care about poor people having to eat peanut butter and jelly and crackers because they ain't got no hamburger meat. Their cor corruptness in America has become the melting pot of it. As a result of that corruptness, the, the the, the effect of that is that children are killing one another because they have nothing to look up to. They have nothing to look up to. Now, I'm going to read to you a, a statement I got from Sister Bathsheba uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it talks about this phenomenon. I'm telling that's just a dream she had. There's no, uh, nothing authentic about this. Well, it's authentic in terms of his, her dream, but I want to share with you these school shootings are indeed a result of the corruptness of the adults. That's why it's taking place. It isn't because the NRA or the age limit or you should ban assault weapons. All that don't mean a thing. What you need to ban is the lawlessness, the rottenness, and the corruption of the adult and the spiritual wickedness in high and influential places. It reads, this is a dream I shared with you. In the dream, there was a single mom who had two children. There was a little boy who begged the mother not to leave her children there. However, she did not listen to the child's request. The single mother left them with this woman anyway. There were two other children in the dream that were unharmed but knew everything that happened. You could see on their face that they were fearful. The lady in the house boiled the single mother's children and they became grits in a large pot. When the lady returned to get her children, she said she did not have them. She lied. The little boy in the dream told the mother 
who had uh, who had uh, happened what had happened rather pardon me and the mother reported her but no one cared that her children were harmed the lady that killed the children made a movie about it about what happened and became very rich no one cared that the children were killed and the lady was not put in jail but was rewarded for killing two wonderful, precious children. Now, that's just part of it, but I want to connect there because that's what we have, precious children being killed. Now, I'm going to do more explaining about this because it is, no one has ever, everybody has blamed the school shootings on, you know, the NRA or the AR-15 or psychological problems, et cetera, et cetera. No one has blamed the school shootings on the fact that our leadership adult society is corrupt and rotten to the core. And so as a result of that, see, a tomato on the vine, fresh, you bite it, wash it, or take, put it, wash it, eat it, it's sweet and taste it. But if you let that tomato just sit there on the counter and sit there, it'll rot. And when it begins to rot, it'll attract flies and bugs to come into your house, even though all your windows are shut. Flies will come into your house to eat that rotten tomato. Now, when the tomato rottens, when the tomato rottens, it gives off an odor that stinks. And because the adult population of America, both black and white, Japheth and Hamite and Shemite, in high and spiritual and wicked and political and empirical places, because in the schools, the leadership is rotten. In the churches, the leadership is rotten. In the political realm, the leadership is rotten, rotten, rotten. In the Wall Street, in the business, economic realm, the leadership is rotten, 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 and it's giving off a stink. And the stink is children killing children. That's it. That's it. I think that's it. Children killing children is the stink from the rotten tomato of our society. And guess what? The more tomatoes they sit out, the more rotten the more of the whole place stinks. But I'm here. I'm here. Want to stop the school shooting. Now, see, here's the deal. Pastors, prospering. let me just say a word to all you algorithm people. I'm speaking from a spiritual perspective. I'm speaking under the authority of the word of God. I'm speaking through the liberty of the spirituality of to call things, to identify things, to prophesy, to explain I'm speaking uh, in, a, in accord with the verse that says that outlines spiritual wickedness in high places. I am not giving out misinformation. And by the way, you, in order to be able to say that what I just said, why these school shooters are taking place, you would need to counter, you would need to demonstrate unequivocally that what I'm saying is not true. You'd have to prove it Nine ways of nine ways, what I just said about these school shootings are happening because of spiritual wickedness in our place. You'd have to prove it, counter it, give us evidence, show us evidentially that what I said isn't true. Therefore, you can classify what I just said as misinformation. But if you can't demonstrate what I said isn't true, even though if you can't prove it is true, you can't prove it ain't true. So therefore, it's not disinformation. Disinformation... New algorithm people would only be uh, affirmed if you can prove if it wasn't true. That's not true. Can you prove it's not true that because of spiritual wickedness in high places in America, the result of it is the stink called children killing children? And if you can't prove what I just said isn't true, 
You can't, if you can't show otherwise, then it's not disinformation. It's biblical prophecy. It's the word of God. It's the authority of the word of God that I, as a theologian, hold. Now, I don't speak loud because I'm angry or mad or discontent or showing discontent. I speak loud because I want to make a point. I want to get your attention. That's why I speak as I speak. At any rate, everybody, want to stop school shootings? Clean up Washington. Clean up the governor's office. Clean up the mayor's office. Clean up the education process. Clean it up. Clean up Wall Street. Clean it up. Clean up the filth. And the school shootings will stop. Me, I'm James Evan Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord's servant. And don't you ever, ever, ever forget it.